my channel. I'm Stuart and if you haven't been here before I do unboxing, tutorials in Photoshop, Lightroom and any other photographic and videography related. Today we are going to look at the newer motorized dolly. But before we do that I would like to do some housekeeping if I can. Just like to say if you like this channel please subscribe to it uh, hit that notification bell. Uh, if there's any comments that you like to leave, please, please leave them down below. I'll read everyone that everyone sends out and uh, answer them all as well. If you have any subjects that you'd like me to cover, either in Photoshop, Lightroom, Capture One, please uh, leave them below and I'll make videos. If you can subscribe, that would be great because that would help uh, me. Uh, get this channel up and going to get out to more people the more the better uh, bring my numbers up uh, so let's get on with the unboxing thank you so here we have the newer auto dolly with wireless remote let's have a look and see what's in the box so here we have the remote this is the play button or the start button, the rewind, and the plus and minus. Next we have the USB connection to power the dolly. Put that over here. Next we have the spare wheel or grommet. We have next, here we have the information on everything. That's the British version. Over here. We have the Allen key here. Also we have the attachment so you can put your camera mount on or your phone mount or even a gimbal if you want to. Put this there. And here is the newer dolly. So here we have the three quarters and the quarter inch hole. Here we have the indicator of the speed. We've got the forward or backward button. On this side we have the USB port to charge up your battery inside. Here we have the on and off switch. As you can see, now the lights are on. You can see one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Like I said, it's all very well made. Okay. Looks pretty good. You can change the wheel, the direction of the wheels, just like this. And this should give you a nice turn in circle. Like that. Okay. Put this grommet on there. Here we can attach our camera, a phone holder, or even a gimbal, small one. This is the motorized wheel. These are freewheeling. Whenever you're putting the camera on, always make sure that the lens is facing this way. If you have it over the, the motor, it's more likely going to topple over, especially if you've got a big lens.
So my review of the newer motorized dolly. So I find it's fairly good, it's very well made, it's sturdy. Um, it does what it says on the box. It takes good B-roll. You know, I'm glad that I bought this because this would help in any of the unboxing uh, products that I do uh, later on, you know, for B-roll. Uh, I give it one thumbs up. Hey, how about two thumbs up? You know, it's a good, well-made product. It does what it says on the box. You know, no complaints. Well sturdy. Well made. The motor is, uh, handles a down about two and a half pound, pound camera. You know, SLR with uh, one... Was it one uh, 18 to 135 mil lens on it? I haven't tried anything uh, bigger than that, so I don't know if that would work, but it handled it okay. It was going at top speed, up and down. I think it's a good tool to have in your camera bag. But overall, good one. I've got some other videos coming up shortly. That's all for now, so I'll say goodbye. Thank you.